Gondrani is a mysterious ancient cave, holding undeciphered symbols and historic traces of unknown civilization. These caves have small darkened chamber-like rooms, as some of the rooms have a veranda in front, and in some of them, you can also find the traces of having the facility of the kitchen. You can reach these caves by traveling 15 to 18 kilometers north near to the city of Bella in Baluchistan. The other way to reach this historic site is through using Karachi Quetta Highway N25 which is formerly known as RCD Highway. These caves are approximately around 175 kilometers far from Karachi Pakistan. Common myths about Gondrani caves due to the absence of archaeological knowledge about these caves, many people attach different myths and legends to these caves. Here are three most famous myths about these caves. Number one myth is that the caves belong to Buddhists. According to this first myth, many historians believe that these caves were built in 7th century AD by the Buddhists, and these caves were a part of their large Buddhist kingdom. It is reasonable to say that this myth is considered to be somehow authentic as one of the historians Andre Wink mentioned the root of these caves with Buddhist monastery in his book Early Medieval India and the Expansion of Islam. He mentioned that, in effect, at 18 kilometers northwest of Las Bella, at Gandakahar, near the ruins of an ancient town, are the caves of Gondrani, and as their construction shows these caves were undoubtedly Buddhist. Second myth is Saif ul Malik and Badi al Jamal. According to the second myth which is considered to be a local myth, the story is something like this, that there was a king during the reign of King Solomon, the king had a beautiful daughter called Badi al Jamal. According to the local legend King's daughter was haunted by six demons who wanted to take her off with them. In order to free her daughter from these demons, the king invited seven heroes, but all these attempts were proved to be failed. At the end, Prince Saif al Mulek eventually released the king's daughter and killed the demons. Third myth is my Gondrani, the savior. Third myth is the most famous one and usually used by many tourist guides to attract travelers towards these caves. According to this local myth, it is famous that there was an old holy woman is known as Mai Gondrani, who sacrificed her life, saved the local people of Gondrani, and killed the demons that used to eat their flesh. The woman was buried near the location of these caves, which is now become as a famous local shrine. Besides the presence of these myths one thing which is important to note is the importance of these caves in a tourism perspective. As it is one of the most famous tourist places of Balochistan, but it is pretty unfortunate that due to the lack of conservation efforts by our government the total number of caves that is left is 500, which used to be around 1500 during the British rule. So next time, when you visit Balochistan don't forget to visit these caves. Look at